Namaste and greetings. My name is Carmen Santosha. And in this video, I want to share with you the third thing that you need to create your reality. Everyone knows that your thoughts and your emotions create your reality. Yeah, you put them together. So, you know, people know you're thinking, positive thinking is a good thing to have in your life. Using self-talk to increase your self-esteem, to increase your self-confidence. This really works, yeah? When you're creating something in your life, like you're making a bigger shift than just your confidence, your self-esteem, because they're fairly easy to create. Um, if you're feeling stuck with this, get in contact with me. I'll give you a hand with that because I, I am a life coach, an eclectic healer life coach, and I help people get unstuck. So if you're stuck in this, in this thing of low confidence and low self-esteem, get in contact with me. So anyways, it's fairly easy. Uh, self-confidence so you put your thoughts there you do a lot of self-talk and you have you starting to feel an uplifting energy vibe and then from that comes the feeling and then from that comes the rest of your reality and the universe starts to magnetize all these good things to you so if you're creating something like um, ah okay so a few years ago me and my daughter uh, were looking for another place to live and um, I, I really, really, really wanted to live in a cabin in the bush, you know, be surrounded by nature, have that beautiful, serene, peaceful feeling. And, but I wanted it to be walking distance to town and close to the school. She was finishing high school at the time. And yeah, sure enough, you know, I, I could feel, I, could, I had the thought, okay? I thought I created the reality with my thinking. And then I could feel us living in this cabin. I could feel the nature around us. I could feel the, the peaceful vibe I would get from it. I could, I could feel it. And sure enough, I don't, a few months later probably, because it was, uh, you're putting time together, you know, school had to end and then the new school began. Da, 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 da. Anyways, we got it together and we found a beautiful cabin in the bush that we lived in for three years um, and she finished her high school. So. You're thinking, you're thinking and emotions, but there's one more thing that creates your reality. And now depending on how big your creation is, if you're trying to manifest a new car, a new job, um, something big, you know, you've got to have this one last thing, this third thing, intentions. The intentions have to be right. Now, intentions are layered with complexities. I can tell you this, intentions are layered with complexities. What does this mean exactly? Well, you have your thinking. So your intentions have thoughts in them. And um, so if you're thinking one thing once, okay, yeah, I really want a new car, but the next thought has the doubt, there's no way I'm gonna get it. Yeah, so your intentions have to be pure and focused. I want that car. And it has to be, it's, your intentions are always competing with your values. If you value, um, whew, okay, you're valuing, for instance, you need a, a better home life first, or you need a better, uh, you want to travel overseas first, um, you know, so you're going to need your passport, you're going to need, you know, you get a backpack or a suitcase, you're going to travel, plan your travel plans for overseas, then getting the car is going against the intention to travel overseas. So if you have the intention of traveling and it's a higher priority than the car, you can't manifest that car. Your intentions steer what you're going to create. So in order to get clear, like crystal clear with your intentions, then you sit down and you write. You do a lot of brainstorming around the things that you desire, what your highest value is. Like a lot of people value animals and nature. So for them to get a new car doesn't make a whole lot of sense because it's going against 
recycling, nature, uh, you know, that type of thing. So then you start looking for another alternative. Perhaps you're going to get a horse. <laughs> Although that's not practical in today's society. So then you think of something else. You think, okay, a scooter, because you're living in the city. The, the car is not going to make sense. And then the scooter, it has all your intentions, all your values in this. You're more likely to create, to manifest this to you. Yeah? So, okay, so that's the third thing. So when you're putting these three together, you can, you've got your thoughts and you've got your emotions and then you're putting the intentions there. The intention is the fuel. It's the gas, it's the petrol. And if it's not steered directly towards that goal, well, you'll be floundering a bit before you get your reality happening. So those are the three things. Number third thing, the third thing you need to know today was your intentions. Actually, that was the thoughts, emotions, and intentions. So I hope this helps, and I'd love to see you give this a go. Really fine-tune the thoughts. Think, what do you really want to manifest in life? Get crystal clear on this, and then put the feelings into it. Visualize it. And then the third thing, make sure that your intentions your, are really clear and aligned with your values. If you want a private session to help you manifest your reality, to shift yourself in this new reality, give me a contact. Give me, give me a comment below. Get in contact with me. Let me know. I'll take you through this session. It may take three, three sessions in order to get your energetic vibration aligned perfectly, but it really is a value. You're going to get a lot of good, juicy, good information, tools and techniques so that you can do this by yourself anytime you want. But in the meantime, give it a go and have fun. Namaste.